welcome back to my channel. Really hope the lighting isn't distracting today, but I don't think it matters too much because today we're focusing on the Notion dashboard, the Notion template that I have created and want to share with you guys. I will link a link in my description below where you guys can download this template and use it yourselves. I'll also show you guys at the end of the video a tutorial on how to just like get the template as well. So. Let's hop right into the template. I definitely want to add to this template as the year goes on, but I wanted to make sure that I would make it available early on this year so people could start using it right away if they were looking for a template. But I do plan to update it as the year goes on and I will create a, another video if I add a lot of new things to it, new features that I want you guys to have access to as well. So hopping right into it, looking at the 2023 planner dashboard. This is kind of the home. I'm gonna show you guys where to get these widgets too, such as this little clock here. I'll link all of those down below as well if you guys want to check it out it's really easy to add them in i'll do a little tutorial at the end of this video as well for those we got kind of where i would put like put a brain dump here so if you want to add any notes about the day that you want to quickly see just a little quote that i like to change out every now and then and then we have the career section journal hobby i'll go into more details with those in a little bit we get down to the weekly to do that to do list so when i made this template i basically wanted to compile all the things that i know i use all the time on notion and i love having just a weekly to do list like this just right in the middle of the page so i can always see it when i hop into my notion dashboard uh, we have this cute little widget here i will show you guys how to download that one as well if you guys want to have a little calendar like that as well i just think it's really cute this is like kind of a reminder section just any like main things that you really want to get done that you want continued throughout the entire week so you're not going to put it on like a monday or sunday you just have it on the side a weekly archive we'll go back into that in a little bit too this is kind of a cool widget which is a little dark honestly it's the life countdown so it kind of shows you like where you are at with the year the quarter of the year and then your life as well like you can enter your age and guest life expectancy i think the one they naturally had was around 80 years old on this life countdown so i think that's the one i have and it shows you like where you're at a little freaky but i thought it was kind of cool so I, I added that widget as well and i'll show you guys how to download that too we go down to the two things that I use definitely most often, which is the five minute journal. It follows the five minute journal that is made by Intelligent Change, which I use as like a hardcover book anyways. But I also like that you can just do it here as well if you want to do it digitally and keep track of those every day. We have the habit tracker. I'm big into habit tracking, as you guys know, who have been watching my videos before. And then we have this little thing just to make sure that I remember to do these three things every day, which is like read for 30 minutes and do those two things, the journal and the habit tracker. We have this weather widget. I live in Calgary, so luckily the weather is fairly decent today. You never know the winter. It could be <laughs> ranges from um, very cold to just like not too bad. <laughs> And then on the plan, I have these three things which I carried on from last year, which is a daily routine I'll get into, the meal planner, and the night routine. So I think I still need to edit the night routine, but we'll see when we get into that. Then we go down to learning. I'm a big on the whole self-learning. I'm not in school anymore, but if you are in school, I feel like this is a good spot if you use this template to put in your classes. I just love that you can compile notes in sections. And then I also like to put daily notes in here too. Like if there's any random things I've learned each day and just kind of compile it in there at the end of the day, I take it from like my hard copy notebook and I just like move it across into here. And then we move down to Google Calendar. Really easy to add this link as well. I think it's great to be able to see everything in here all in your Notion. So I added that as well. And we also have the reading directory, which I love love. It's one of my favorite things about Notion. And then we have a priorities little list here again for learning. If there's anything you really want to note down to check out that links to your learning that week. So that is the overall quite simple 2023 planner dashboard, which I think contains the main things that I use in Notion. I think the one thing I didn't bring across was how I track my spending, but we could do a future video on that as well. I also forgot to mention the 14 week plan here too. I love having these. So I believe I kept most of these empty because I want to share this template with you guys. And I just duplicated and moved my other one across but I think I might have left some of my things in here as well so we'll see as we go through it so to start when we first come in here we have the 14 week plan this is a template that was already on notion that I have used before didn't create this myself I really like it because you can kind of check in every 14 weeks and see where you're at so you have your progress goals action tasks for each goal and then kind of like something that you're going to reward yourself with if you complete these goals by the certain date which I really love and I definitely want to do more this year is just coming up with rewards to motivate you to complete these goals and just feel really good about it once you have reached them so that's the 14 week plan again i mentioned the brain dump here just kind of put some text here we have career so i kept this empty for you guys and just kind of use the general link that they already had because i didn't create this template myself this career one here i think it was called something else but i wanted to use it for like career goals so you know 
they have just have these random ones here from Notion. And you can have a to-do list here that has to do with like work, any sub pages, any embedded links that you wanna come back to, I think it's really useful just to keep you on track. We have the journal. Again, I just moved this one across from Notion. So this is just like the general one that I copied in for you guys to use as well. So it just has some examples of like daily reflection, things that you can write about in your journal if you plan to use it. I like to have it at the top because I'm someone who kind of forgets to journal. So if I see it at the very top, I'm more likely to just jot something quickly in there as well. And then we have hobby. So I believe this used to be like a design tracker template that I copied across. I call it hobby though, because in my own one, you know, I like to keep track of like what I've done on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like say even if it's like piano, it doesn't have to be like these Figma designs or anything like that or paintings, you can kind of keep track of where it's at. And I think it's a good way to track your hobbies as well. So I think that's just a different way to use it. Then moving on to the weekly to-do list, as I mentioned, you can just type something in just leave it there. I like to use these. Usually my to-do lists like are more than two. They go on quite far, but you can just kind of move these across and add like another one. The reminder, I just kind of left these blank as an example for you guys, things that you want to get done. The weekly archive. So this is where I like to just dump things, like say things I want to move across to the next week. So for example, you put something on Sunday, like, oh, I don't know, complete project say like it's not done and you're not going to come back to it any week soon i like to sometimes just like move that across the weekly archive so like i'll just like make a note complete this project so like you know what i mean so it's somewhere to like keep everything that's going to be there every week that's kind of my thought about it and then when we get here we have the five minute journal so again this kind of copies the five minute journal created by intelligence change the one that you guys i think is the most common five minute journal i've seen yeah, it's just this guy here. I love using it every day. I, there's something about writing it down with pen and paper that I really love. I just like that tangible feeling. But I do like that if I don't get to this, at least I keep it in here. It's kind of fun tracking it in Notion as well. So it's like, what am I grateful for? What would make today great? Some daily affirmations, amazing things that happened today. And how could I have made my day even better? Or like lessons learned, that kind of thing. So we have that one. And then we have the habit tracker. So this is something, I just left some general ones here. It's fun to see like what you manage to check off each date. So I just have this kind of left simple for you guys, some ideas in case you wanna start using this habit tracker. Moving on to, we have the daily routine. I don't know if I've like changed these out for you guys. They might be full. Yeah, so I, I have some actual things of my own here. And I don't know if I've been following this daily routine very accurately for 2023 yet. Like the 6 a.m. wake up has not been super accurate, but I like to fill in like what my typical routine would be like, say I go to the gym or like a non-gym day in the morning, just so I have like a general guideline of what I would like my routine to be like for the most part. And like, obviously these switch out like when you're gonna have classes or practice piano or like whatever you're working on that year. So that's a daily routine. The meal planner I really like. I believe I got this template from somewhere else. I don't know if it was on Notion or from someone on YouTube because I've kind of mixed between I've tried a few different templates from different sources, but um, this will be available for you guys as well. And so you can add some recipes as well, which I really love. So you can like look in here and it's got all the things needed. This is something I definitely want to use more this year because I didn't use it as much last year, but definitely really appreciate that. So so that's the meal planner. And then the night routine, again, I don't think I really went too much into detail with this. I just kind of left it, I think from the template I copied it from. So I haven't touched this too much and it's something I intend to use more. You know, whatever works for you guys for your night routine, you can just fill it in there as well, just as like a little reminder to get you on track. Then we have the learning. I've left these blank. So, you know, you can fill in anything. Syllabus, I like to just use like also like notes. So I write like notes down here as well. Like daily notes, I just like add a random topic in and like, you know, you're not going to revise those daily notes, but just to keep track of it. Priorities, I kind of went over already. My reading directory. So I left this, I think I'll leave this, you know, semi full for you guys just to show an example of like how I'm using it to keep track of my reading. So maybe I'll leave this part in for the template, but um, it's just like what books I'm reading right now. When did I start them? When do I finish them? And then I have my like wish list of the books that I plan to read sometime soon or want to read this year. So lots to pick from. And I kind of cleared it out from, I had a 2022 one and I cleared it out. So it's like nice and clean for 2023. And then we have the Google calendar. So we won't go into too much detail on my Google calendar, but again, at the end of the video, I'll show you guys how you can link yours up and link all those widgets. But like I said, short and sweet, I think that's everything. Got the little priority tab. I kept it fairly simple. I definitely want to add more to this as the year goes on. And I like practice like how functional it is using it and see what things are missing or what things are needed. But I think it's like a nice, easy start for the year. And if you're new to Notion, I'm happy to share this template so you guys can get started for the new year. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Let me know how your Notion tracking is going or if you have 
have any templates that you love, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys all in my next video very, very soon. Bye, guys. Sometimes everything just gets hard. Sometimes everything just gets harder. Feeling like I'm missing some parts. Days just keep on getting much darker. Even when I'm down in the lower, I remember what you were saying. Sometimes all you need is a spark. Maybe just a better kind of bitter. I'm mad.